From licking the batter bowl to using that kitchen sponge one too many times, we are all guilty of a kitchen crime from time to time. That rhymed, Kara. Coming up today, not coming up, right now in Things to Care About, Kara's going to share uh -huh. some habits that we have to learn to break. And Kara... Um, I flipped through this list and I'm guilty. Of well, these. I was gonna say, me too, and I'm, it's quite frankly terrifying. Well, <laughs> right. All of it. All of it is, but we're gonna get mm -hmm. you to break these habits, starting off with number one, Kara. Because sometimes, you know, like the great Maya Angelou said, if you, did she say, when you know, you know better, you do better? I'm Kara, sorry that I invoked the great that, Maya Angelou I, as I'm about to talk about kitchen Google hacks. That. I apologize. Trent, also did Maya for Angelou just do, say that? For doing that. Okay, all right, sorry. All those. <laughs> All that aside, I'm sorry. Okay, let's kick things off with something we all do every Tell day. Me. Okay, I mean not every day, but sometimes we defrost meat to throw in the crock pot or prepare oh, for tonight's always. dinner. Oh, yes. But did you know if you let that chicken rest on your countertop, <sighs> do you do it? No, I do it. Not on the countertop. Well, I mean I don't put it on the. I mean even on a plate. Oh. Just you just leave it out to thaw instead of doing it in the microwave. Mm. Or in the I, fridge. In my fri yeah, you're right. If you're okay. if you're pressed for time, well, let me tell you. you if you do it, Ooh. it um, can give you millions, billions of germs throughout the day. That even when you cook it, it can't kill them. Okay, so be sure to plan oh ahead gosh. and defrost in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, producer Ebony is off today, but I want to say when we did our kitchen hacks, mm -hmm. um, that, um, what is it, Not one of the papers, wax paper, sure. that's what they were recommending, like go ahead and just lay that all out uh -huh. to actually put the your chicken on uh -huh, where you're preparing, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. just so then it's easy to throw it all out. Sure. Yeah, that's good. Right? Yeah, but, but like defrost it in over. the fridge. But defrost also, in the fridge. Another question, let us know on at, at ATL and Co. Do you wash your chicken? Do you I wash do. your chicken? Okay. Indeed, I do. All right, I the do. next one is no? uh, what about oh, those leftovers for lunch? You may have been told to let them cool off before storing and refrigerating. Yep. But there's no time to waste because when food sits out at room temperature, bacteria, our friend bacteria, grows like Here wildfire. We go again. Come on. Uh huh. Pack those perishables in your Tupperware stat and thank yourself later. Wait a minute, but mm -hmm. I thought like, so, so, okay, I take my crock pot out, then I put it on the stove top to okay. let it cool for a while before I pack things up before we go to bed. So you can immediately put it in, the, Kara, I'm, okay, I'm challenging my, you on this one. My, uh, I mean, it doesn't sit hours and hours, but it might sit for an hour. Sure, bad? well, you're not supposed to, you will die of a bacteria infection. Oh, great. Um, my husband's college roommate, Guillermo, he said that you are to pack everything up and then let it get to room temperature, and that's what his mother always okay. did. And now I'm gonna have to call Guillermo straight after the show and let him know We're that that is not out. correct. After. He's also a physician, so no, I feel he's endangering I, people. I like that idea <laughs> is to pack it up, but then yeah. still, ah. Uh, okay. That's the question. All right, on to the cleanup. To cool Are cool? you one, now let me know about this, to keep a sponge past its grimy expiration? No. Well, you aren't the first, and you won't be the last, but there is a solution. Microwaving your sponge for a couple minutes can destroy 99% of bacteria. You do just make sure it's wet before hitting start and let it cool off. You can also throw your sponges in the dishwasher. Yes, I, I do both. You do that, okay. Now Jim is obsessed with the, um, the scrubby that okay. keeps the soap in. Sure. And if that scrubby starts to look a tiny bit gnarly, Boom, yeah. we get another one. I'm sure. Like, well, let's do Sure. Jim is, yeah. I toss them. I toss too. Yeah, but that's I didn't what know he you does. could do it in the microwave. I'll yeah. do that from now on. Okay. Okay, um, shall we end with something sweet? It do depends. you love to bake a cake? <laughs> yes, <laughs> always. Okay, well, I'm sure the kids love uh, licking the batter bowl just as much as your finished product. But as many of you might know, raw eggs can lead to salmonella poisoning, and even raw flour can contain E. coli. Oh, so my play goodness. it safe. Next time you're mixing up a homemade dessert, or here's a quick pro tip, buy that delightful break apart dough that's safe to eat. Yeah, I'm very sorry, I got very tongue tied on those. Some of no, those. Um, now I will say this, Jim loves that break apart uh -huh. dough, so that is safe to eat because I'm always like, stop eating that. I'm confused because uh, I think it is, uh, clearly but it, it has is. to it's have some said. sort of egg in it, right? But I mean, of course, then there are all those businesses now that is edible that add the edible cookie dough. To cookie dough, right? Yeah. I just say I, life is short. You know what? If you want to lick the bowl, I, I can't endorse that here on the no, show. No, you can't, Kara. I can't because I don't want people to get sick. But I'm just, just saying, I've done it many a times, and look how look I have all 
It's all working. It, it, she's fine. She is fine. <laughs> it, you've not, made me not no. want to cook dinner tonight. So thank you, Kara Kinnear. If anybody else out there but is going to order takeout. Now. Woo. Wash yes. it, put it in the fridge. Sorry, I know what you were saying about, you were talking about the chicken. I want to go back because I feel like I got a little off course. No. But, but the fact that when you, you were saying even, for easy cleanup. For easy mm -hmm. cleanup because then I get real psycho yes. about cleaning the counter afterward. Right. It's of just course. a lot. It's it a lot. It is a lot. Let's just right. be careful out there, people. That's right. Thank you, uh -huh. Kara Kinnear.